This video will describe all the icons relating to position on the canvas. I have added lines on the canvas to denote the vertical and horizontal centers, and I've also added an image. On the top right of the screen there are six icons. The first three will position an item on the canvas in the horizontal plane, and the last three on the vertical plane. Once you choose your item, you can align it to the left, horizontal center, and right of the screen. You can also align to the top, vertical center, and bottom of the screen. The target under the canvas is used to align the item directly in the center of the screen. This can also be accomplished by pressing both the vertical and horizontal alignment icons. The Fit to Canvas icon will fit the item onto the canvas while maintaining its aspect ratio. In this case, the image fits within the vertical space, but since it's not as wide as the canvas, there are spaces on either side. I'll just make the image smaller again and now press the Expand button. Notice now how the image will expand to cover the entire canvas, and since the aspect ratios are not the same, there is some bleeding of the image over the top and bottom of the canvas. Also note, for fine tuning, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Just pressing an arrow key moves the item by one pixel while using the shift key with an arrow key will move it by 10 pixels at a time. The flip buttons allow you to flip the item horizontally and vertically. And one last thing to note is that if you grab the rotation node at the top of the image, the image will snap to every 45 degree angle.